All right, I'm down here at the Democratic headquarters talking with Dan Maher. Uh, you guys got a good turnout here this evening. Oh, this is excellent. We have a lot of people. A lot more are going to come in, I'm sure, and we're, uh, we're excited. This well, is you got some good food here. Yes, very good food. And I always show up for the good food yeah. stuff. Yeah. But I'm sure it's more than that. This has been, um, especially on the national level, it's been a very heated political race. Have you seen that kind of trickle down into some of these uh, local races and state races? Uh, only in the sense of sometimes when I'm pointing out, you know, who it, it's good to know who somebody thinks their leadership is. Uh, and I've, some of the forums and, and the places I've talked, of, I've tried to point out, you know, that I'm this is my party and this is where we're going. And and uh, and my opponents, uh, you know, a Trump supporter, and and he's been uh, open about that. And, and I think. That that's probably the only place that it's really come into. I've I've noticed some people shaking their heads because they didn't want the national to to bleed into our our local stuff. But it is important, you know. You know when we th we think about what a candidate needs and where their directions are going, you know, and they're looking in that direction. It really means something. And uh, so I I think there's a lot of Republicans are going to be looking uh, for some alternatives uh, this year and hopefully in the future years in these next elections. So. What did you think um, in this political climate that we're in and even here in, in the Wenatchee Valley, um, what, what, what was your campaign like? Uh, was it a good experience for you? Um, long, <laughs> long experience, but good. Uh, you know, the first part of the process was uh, um, the uh, um, the different organizations send you out questionnaires, really good educational stuff about here's where we are, here's what we stand for, this is, um, um, and how do you answer these questions. So that part of that, well, they're, they're putting me through a little uh, fast course on what they want me to look at, which was good. And so you got very uh, intimate with a lot of the local issues and state issues right away. And and then later on, kind of in the further in there, it was more about um, Rather than being prepared, it was more about who who you are, um, which I was more comfortable with. I you know, talked passionately about some of the the policies I'd like to see change and in, in the direction our state should go. That I'd rather talk about that. I'm a, I'm a math teacher here at the college, and and you get me into content, I I do that better than waving and trying to look like hey I got the I'm the good looking guy with a mustache trying to pull that off is tough sometimes so I won't keep you anywhere I know you got a lot of people here that you need to be talking with but thank you so much for taking a moment with us Dan thank you very want to wish you good luck yeah thank you how is your night going so far oh it's great you know it's uh we have about an hour left before our ballots uh, start rolling out and election results come in from all the county auditors from the 12th district but I mean, you can see the crowd here is starting to gather, and uh, got my little, little oldest right here. She, we started this election together on April 11th, and so we're ending it together as a family, and uh, hoping for a victory in the 12th district senate race. It's, uh, it, it really has kind of been a family affair for you too. They've yeah. been uh, a lot of help for you. Oh, they've been a magnificent help. I mean, we did. Thir how many parades did we do? 14. We about did 15. Okay, so she says 50, but it was really 14. <laughs> but that's we that's still a lot. <laughs> yeah, they were in every parade with me. Um, we've traveled miles together. Uh, we've gone to forums together. Um, it's been just a magnificent election. I mean, I could. I was talking to the Wenatchee World reporter a little earlier, and she said, are you ready for this to be over? I'm like, no, I'm not. I've, I've really enjoyed getting to know the people of the 12th District. I've really enjoyed getting to know the voters here and their issues, their concerns. Um, I think they taught me more than I taught them, which is what you want in a, a elected leader is that they'll learn from you because they're, we're supposed to be their voice. So I, I love it. I've had a great time, and uh, it, it's just been good. Has the uh, the national presidential race have you seen any effects on that from from down to what you're doing here? No, um, I mean like I say there, we've been to a lot of doors, we've knocked on a lot of doors, uh, talked to a lot of people on the phone and done the campaigning uh, six times. I've been asked about the presidential, including race. this time. Yeah, uh, this makes seven, but so about seven times I've been asked about the presidential election race. Uh, because they're so different. Your state senate race is more localized. 
people are wondering if they're going to have a job, what impacts are going to happen from the initiatives. They're more concerned about some of the initiatives than they are the federal politics, especially when it comes to their gun rights, when it came to the minimum wage, the carbon tax. Is it going to be tough for you to uh, be able to wind down later tonight after this is all over? No, I've been in this a long time. Yeah. Uh, I've, been, I've been involved in politics for you know, nearly 15 years in the state of Washington, but about 25 before that. And it's an emotional high and a roller coaster through an entire election. And it culminates with events like this. And uh, the election results come in and somebody wins and somebody loses. The biggest thing about elections with the wind down is once it's over, it's coming back together. You know, in my race, I hope I'm the winner, but if I'm not, uh, my opponent can count on my support, and I would encourage my uh, supporters to do the same. But like I say, I hope that's not the case. Well, I'm going to let you go because I know you're very busy tonight. We want to wish you good luck, though. Thank you very much. It's good to see you guys, and thank you for all the coverage you're doing tonight. And, uh, you know, one other thing. These guys are just getting started with their television. This is their first year, and we're really proud to see North Central Washington Life come on air. It's been a huge part of the election with some of the interviews with the candidates, and we're proud to see a local TV station uh, come out and uh, be here in our community because it's what we need. So good job for all of you as well.